Welcome to the audio recording in practice, part 1 video course of the Video Teach project. During this course, you will learn how to prepare before you start sound recording. A single audio recording system is a setup in which all components necessary for sound recording are integrated into one system. Examples of single audio recording systems are portable sound recorders. Most smartphones have a built-in single audio recording system. Typically, a simple audio recording system consists of four parts. Microphones which can be built in, or the system may have the option to connect external microphones. External microphone input offers more flexibility and often higher quality recording. Preamplifier which receives the audio signal from the microphone and amplifies it to line level when it can be recorded or reproduced. The preamplifier may be built in the speakers, or can be an external component connected to the single audio system. Speakers. They are needed to convert the electrical audio signal into sound, which people can hear. The speakers can be built in or connected to the amplifier. And the control interface. It is a component that allows a certain level of control over the recorded sound, such as to adjust volume, to select tone settings, treble, bass, and sometimes can perform other functions. A dual audio recording system or sync system means that you are recording the audio to a dedicated sound recorder, which is a separate device, not part of your video recorder. This is very useful if the device you are using for filming does not have a quality sound recording system built in. In post-production, you will have to sync the sound to the video. To set up a dual audio recording system, first, you have to place the microphone close to the person speaking, about 30 centimeters to 40 centimeters away. You can also use a lavalier microphone. Then you connect the microphone to the audio recorder. This is done with special cables, and they can be two main types, both coming in many different variants. First, XLR cable which is more professional, offers higher quality audio recording. And second, jack cable which is generally a more affordable option. Bear in mind that this cable has to be kept fairly short to avoid noise interference. The optimal length is no longer than 6 meters, since it has to be long enough to allow you to place the sound recorder conveniently out of sight, away from the shooting area. Next, you should turn off any automatic settings of the sound recorder. Set sample rates at 48 kHz, wave 24-bit or 16-bit, there is little difference in the quality of the recorded sound. Then set the gain, known also as input level slash rec level slash gain trim slash trim, on the recorder. In order to do this, you ask the person who will speak to say a few words on the microphone and then turn up the gain until the loudest speaking sound makes the peak meter go up to minus 12 decibels to minus 15 decibels. Now you are ready to start recording. You turn on first the audio recorder and then your video recorder, be that a camera or your smartphone. When video recording with a smartphone you should make sure that the audio is of good quality. Most smartphones have built-in single audio recording systems, which are convenient to use, especially if you are recording outdoors. However, in most cases, these systems offer only limited control over the quality of the recorded sound. Our tip number one, use external microphone. A good quality standalone microphone will help you record a much better sound than the built-in microphone of your phone. And our tip number two, use a dedicated audio recording application, which will allow you to control the settings of the sound recording, such as sample rates and audio input gain. There are many available apps, free as well as paid ones. Experimenting will help you find the one that works best for you. Of course, the video settings depend on many factors, chiefly on the topic of the video and the intentions of the video maker. When choosing the perfect stage for your video you should not forget to consider the sound quality of the environment. Deciding on a recording place with nice acoustics where the level of unwanted noise is minimal or at least controllable can be crucial for the quality of your video. Every location has its natural background sound. Before you start recording you have to identify the sources of noise at your chosen place and to decide what is unwanted noise and if is it possible to control it. Unwanted noise is every sound, which is picked up by a microphone but it is not needed for your video. To limit this type of noise, you should choose a space with as little as possible unwanted noise. We have two tips for you for limiting unwanted noise. Tip 1. 
If you are recording outdoors, you should choose a quiet location where there is no traffic noise and fewer passers-by. Tip 2. If you are recording indoors, you should Turn off all electric appliances Close the windows to limit the street noise And use curtains and cover the floor with carpets to limit the echo effect of the walls and improve the acoustics of the room. A quality video soundtrack takes into account several different audio sources. There are two main audio sources, interview and voiceover narration. Interview can be one of the central points of the audio, driving your video forward, its quality depends on the skills of the video maker and the optimal use of recording equipment. Lecture or voiceover narration can be another central point of the audio, driving the storyline of the video forward, its quality depends on the skills of the video maker and the optimal use of recording equipment. There are a few types of secondary audio sources. For example, natural background sound. If it does not interfere with the audio recording quality, this sound can add a more realistic feel to the video. Special sound effects. These can make a video sound more realistic or dramatic and craft the emotional responses of the viewers. They can be ready-made by professional sound producers. There are many playlists to choose from online. Background music. If well chosen, it can set the rhythm of the storytelling and emphasize the message of the video. It is usually ready-made by professional music producers, and there are many playlists to choose from online. Silence. Moments of silence can be used in a video, for example, when transitioning from one part of the story to the next. Planning the audio of your video before you start recording is of great importance. Choosing appropriate recording equipment and the right location, Limiting the level of unwanted noise and designing the components of the soundtrack all play a crucial role in obtaining optimal audio for your video production. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project VideoTeach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.